Hello everybody, welcome to our first video about uh, Jump, about uh, how to start using Jump. So a lot of people install uh, the software and when they open, they don't know uh, what to do, right? So I'm gonna show you how we start, how we can start, how, what we can do first time we open uh, the software so I am opening this here when you open uh, you have this tip of the day page this tip of the day window here they are tip of the day right here we have laser pointer Jump has a built-in laser point that enables you to visualize, vi visually emphasize parts. So uh, every time you open the software, you have some tips. You can change the page here. You can close this. And the moment we close, you, you close this, you have this blank page uh, with no information at all. Here I, I have these three different files because they are the, the recent files that I was using recently. You have here uh, a window called uh, Windows because if you are working with something here, you, you, you will have the information about the, 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 the files that you are uh, working right now. So all the menu about jump is here. File, edit, tables, rows, columns, DOE. So I know a lot of people that uh, like to use DOEs. So we have here uh, some very specific uh, places inside of the software where you can plan experiments. If your experiment, experiment is customized, you can use custom design. If your experiment is classical, uh, two-level screening, you, you can use this, you should use this part. Response interface, mixture design, if you are in the chemical chemical area, you can use this mixture design. If you are working uh, with consumer studies, you have here choice design and max diff design. If you are trying to know how many parts you should use in a test, uh, you, you have this sample size explorer, how explore power, how explore confidence intervals, how explore reliability tests, how many parts uh, do, do I have to have uh, to run a reliability life test. So you have this part of Jump uh, talking about this. And for those who are passionate about Six Sigma quality level, you have this part as well. Everything about analysis you can find here how is the distribution of your data uh, there is correlation or not between two variables uh, if you are doing running and performing and text explorer analysis you can do it here it's a very powerful powerful analysis uh, everything you do about doe analysis or regression analysis multiple regression logistic regression you can use this fit model part. Uh, predictive modeling, neural networks, partition. This is uh, for jump standard. Everything down here, you will find only in jump pro. I promise you that I will record a video uh, talking about the difference between jump standard and jump pro. And multivariate methods, uh, clustering, and for me, as a Six Sigma instructor, this quality and process part in JUMP, 
I think it was it, it is one of the most important ones because we have everything about control charts here you can find here process capability measurement system analysis Pareto uh, the variability chart here uh, one of the most important ones for me in this software and here about consumer research uh, if, if you are working with consumer uh, research you can plan the research here the study here but you will analyze the study here okay you have here something related specifically about uh, this is about graphs how can I do, how can I perform graphs in Jump? So you have this graph builder. This graph builder is very, very powerful, but you need a table, you need data to perform this. The first thing that Jump asks you is, what is your data? Where are the data? Where are the files that you, you use? So I have some file here, but if I didn't, uh, have a file, any table, I, I could create a new table. So I here in file, I have file, new, new data table. And you can see in some regions in Jump, mainly here, every time that you see these symbols here, they are shortcuts on your keyboard. So if I want to create a new data table in my keyboard, I have this command N or I just click here and new data table. And here you can uh, type your data, for example, uh, double click in the column. This is my Y, my response variable. I have the values here like 10 point, 10 point 12, uh, 10.45, but I can also have a very big table. I have a, I already have here to show you how, how we can perform this, how we can change things here. What I, what is the important information about this? window and uh, now where I have a data table so I have some data here and what can I do with this here we have the name of this table I can change the name of any time I want here we have the information about columns the information about rows so this is very dynamic if I select some uh, rows and columns here Jump is informing us that we have 12 columns and 6 of them are selected uh, we have 36 rows and 15 of them are selected I have these 8 columns the, that are continuous data we can, sh we can see this here, these uh, blue triangles here. This, uh, it means that they are continuous. Uh, if they are not continuous, I can just uh, with the right, right click here and change uh, the type of the data. For example, this part, uh, uh, they are continuous, so I just changed here. I can double click in the column and change the name, change the data type, the modeling type, the format. I can change a lot of different things about this specific column. I can change the, I can put uh, the spec limits. I can run a process capability distribution about this column. I can perform a lot of different things just right uh, double clicking on the column so another very important thing that I consider if 
I I starting with jump is the help the help structure in jump. So let's let's perform a very simple graph here. Fit y by x. Let's compare y one and y two. I have a bivariate graph. Uh, you can see that if I select a point here, the point is selected in my data table is very dynamic. Uh, I, let's imagine that I, I just performed this graph, this analysis, and I have no idea uh, what is it. Uh, what can I learn here? How things were calculated? So you can select this little piece here and put here. When you click with this interrogation um, point, you open, you have this website in the jump.com where you can find everything you can imagine about this bivariate report. Uh, this is a very short summary, but you can click here and start seeing a lot of advanced uh, details about this bivariate. Every time that you click here, here you can find uh, more and more information. Okay. Another very important uh, helpful thing here in Jump is the jump documentation library so i will open this pdf file here this very this is very big but this is very uh, complete uh, everything that you can find about jump you can find it here so you have a pdf file about 7206 pages explaining every single detail about the software and the analysis okay so i think to start using jump uh, this is the basic the basic situation if you have some doubts if you have some comment if you have some situation uh, that you would have to would like to have here in our channel please let your comment below and I will work on that, okay? Thank you a lot for watching until here. Have a good day and see you in the next video.